All right, hey everyone. Okay, so welcome back to another unboxing slash review video, and today we're going to look at Sonic Mania Plus, which came out a day early! Yay! <laughs> yeah, my copies arrived a day early, so yippee! And I know some people got really lucky and got theirs over the weekend, but meh, it's still early. So yeah, um, I got my copy early and I can't wait to play it. But first we're going to take a look at this and see what you actually get inside the physical edition of Sonic Mania Plus, let's call it. And I've been very good, I haven't been spoiling myself as to what's inside this, so I'm going to be quite surprised. So yeah, um, here we are on Sonic Mania Plus, and you might remember I did uh, show off the Collector's Edition which came out about a year ago, so definitely check that out if you haven't done. And I've also got the Japanese Collector's Edition of this game on the way as well, so we'll be looking at that at a later date. But anyway, let's take a look at what you get inside the physical edition of Sonic Mania. And, um, yeah, the front of the box, I, I really like this cover. Um, it's just a shame that Ray and Mighty isn't on here either, because I think that would have been absolutely perfection. But, uh, yeah, it includes an art book and a Sega Mega Drive reversible cover. So we'll definitely check that out. Oh, there's Ray and Mighty. Yay! Wow, just, that is so weird to see Ray and Mighty on a physical box. It's just weird to see them all in the game. The ultimate celebration of past and future, all new adventure with Sonic, Tails and Knuckles, and Ray and Mighty. Full unique bosses, rolling 2D landscapes, and fun pixel perfect gameplay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this has four player co-op. Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Okay, so I guess I better open this up and see what you get inside it now. This doesn't oh do I need to get some scissors or something to open this? Uh, Go. See what I am just going to pause the video to do this because that will be much better. Okay, so now that's off, we can actually get it out. And yay, they actually put that sticker on the on the cardboard, not the outside cellophane. Because I, I I never I'm never sure what to do with them. I always like peel them off gently and put them somewhere. But anyway, yeah, it's like a slipcase cover. And oh, aha! That must be the art book. And there's the game, which is also wrapped up in sealant, but that's okay because this is an easy, quick peel one. So yeah, we'll take a look at that soon. But first, let's take a look at the art book that you get with this. Ah, this is pretty big. The Art of Sonic Mania. Let's take a look. And oh, I like those sketch hog things. Those look very similar to what was in the um, introduction manual. Um, I did a video on that as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, oh, that's cool. I like that. By the mania, for the mania. But there was one thing fans still wanted, a physical edition of their own. Yes! Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was obvious we did. And we got the main characters in there. Tell me we've got a bio for Ray and Mighty, because that'll be awesome. Now the hard-boiled heavies. Uh, one of them's actually female, which is quite a surprise. Yay! We got one of Ray and... Oh, this is weird. We've got merchandise now with Ray and Mighty. How weird is that? Oh, that is crazy. And you got... Oh, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> Even has the... Uh... Oh, looking Sonic. Yeah, those are the frames from the title sequence, I think. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like all... Actually, I like all these. The sketches of a big man. That's really good. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. That is so cool. All the villains there and all the badniks. Oh, I like these as well. I'm guessing there was a lot more artwork like this. I, I really wish that there was like a proper huge like art portfolio style thing of all this stuff. And they got, oh, concept logos. Oh, wow. Oh, some of those are really different. It's just so cool. This is so awesome. Oh, I love that. That is great. That is really cool. That's so cool. There's something there on the opening animation. We got some more. Oh, this is so cool. This is so awesome. Oh, look at that. This is so great. These are so awesome. Wow, that is such that is a really good art book. I know I'm not usually a fan of them if they don't if they lack annotations, but just the content of that 
I've never seen any of that artwork. Well, some of it was in the instruction manual, but most of that I'd never seen before, and I love it when companies do that. Okay, so let's check out the actual physical edition of the game and see what's inside it. Yeah, I, can't, I don't know if there's a disc in here. I don't know if it's a download code, so there might be a really dodgy edit coming. What is it? It's a disc! Hey! Yes, it is a disc! And we've got... Oh, what's this? Haha, it actually has an instruction manual! Yay! Which has nothing in it. Wow! That is an instruction manual that has no instructions inside it. It's just health warnings. That is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, we actually have a disc. Usually don't show the discs, but yeah, Sonic Mania on a disc. Wow! Oh yeah, and of course, this has a reversible cover, so we've got the standard one there. So let's see what the, what it looks like if I reverse the cover. I mean, very carefully, because I don't want to wreck this. Oh, that, right, okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Mega Drive, of the blue label Mega Drive. Uh, I, I much prefer the black label, but that does look really cool inside the case. Um, it's not perfect though. Um, I've got to admit, it's not perfect. You can't quite see. There's like some bobbles here that, that you know, it like has like this metal effect on the side of the classic Mega Drive cases, and you can't really see it on this one. But um, and. The aspect ratio looks, it's a little bit odd. I can't put my finger on it, but just something seems a bit off, but it still looks really cool. Yeah, I have to admit, that looks really, really awesome. And uh, the back of the box, it's, um, it's okay. It's not, I don't know, it's okay. It's not awful, but there's something about it which is put, I, I'm, I think the bad problem is, I much prefer the black label, in fact, I much prefer the black label. Yeah, uh, this is a concept one that I made myself, and um, there's another one as well, which is here. Yeah, um, I think I prefer my black label cartridges because I, I just really like them. These are the ones that I sort of grew up with, and I just think they're a bit cooler. But that's just me. I don't know, maybe you prefer the blue one, but I, myself, I prefer the black labels, and yes, I did have these to hand. Okay, so... I'm just going to pop them over there. So yeah, um, that was Sonic Mania Plus, the collector's edition. Uh, well, I, I guess you could call it the standard edition. It's a standard physical edition. Um, yeah, what do I think of it? Well, um, the game is Sonic Mania Plus, obviously, and that was magnificent. Um, uh, sorry, uh, Sonic Mania, and that was magnificent. And this is like just extra stuff on top of that. So I'm really looking forward to play it. Uh, considering how this is literally the standard edition of the game, if you don't already own it, this is an absolute bargain. You're getting so much content, but I'm going to wait for the Japanese version of this to come over because I think that might just be a little bit cooler than this one, but this is still a really cool package. So anyway, guys, um, I guess that's all I can say. And if, Oh, actually, go on then. Uh, well, I think I've also got it here as well. Yes, there is the original instruction, introduction manual, and I think in actually one of these. Yes, there's the um, there's the thing that I made. So yes, there's a lot of mania. I'm a bit mania mad. Actually, we'll just have a quick flip through this. Oh no, it is quite different to the to the art book, which is good. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so yeah, if you don't own this, guys, I definitely recommend it. It's a really, really good little package. And, um, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, look at this. So I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like there's Morse code up here. Huh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload a separate video, and I'm going to show, I'm going to figure out what this says, and then we're going to, I'm going to do that in a separate video for you guys. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's a secret, secret Morse code on the back. Wow. Oh, cool. Well, I'm definitely going to check that out. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend this, guys. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and come back next time, and I will have a lot more stuff to show you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, oh, yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button, because then YouTube might decide to notify you whenever I upload anything new. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching, and see you again next time. Goodbye.